do we really have to do this again? I was at the game on Thursday versus Predators, and that game was very enthusiastic. The Senators had no opportunities whatsoever. We go into tonight's game against the Panthers. Oh my god. Mike Hoffman and Bobby Ryan were out for this game. Um, and there were some waiver trans um there were some transac transactions the Senators did. Andrew Hammond is on waivers and Curtis Azar was called up for tonight. So Hoffman and Bobby Ryan were out for the game. <sighs> This is easily one of the better games the Sanders have played all year. And uh, all they got was a big fat loss. They end up losing 4-1. to one. Uh, to get, Let's talk about the goals that happened. Yarmar Jagr likes to score against the Sanders, of course, and he does it 25 seconds in to break his slump. It's one of the uh, Florida Panthers, assisted by Barkov and Yandel. And right off the bat, the Sanders are playing poorly. Sanders picked up their pace. And outshot them 10 to 1. And then UC Okunin on the second or third shot of the game. Roofs it past Anderson on a turnover. Assisted by Barkov and guess who? Yaromir Jagr. It's 2 0 Panthers. Going to the second period. After the Sands are out shooting the Panthers like crazy. Marsh Assault uh, swings, the, like, swings the stick like a baseball bat. Hits a home run as it goes bar down into the net. 3 0. Assisted by Vincent Trocek and Jason Demers. Now, this is the Sanders. Finally got on the board as a trick shot on the goal line. Pajot shoots it. Luckily goes in past Luongo. His second of the year. Five minutes into the third. Sanders have life. Life. This goal assisted by Kyle Turris and Ryan Zingle, who is spectacular tonight. Uh, Ryan Zingle is spectacular. The whole team is spectacular. But of course, since you're the Ottawa Sanders, you can't score. They haven't scored more than two goals the past 12 games. And that might have to do with their team getting under 15,000 uh, fans per game. If you can't score, no one's going to come to the games. If you can't score, you're not going to win. And if you're not winning, who would want to watch you not win? What's the point of going to a game if you're going to watch your team lose? So, yeah, Yuji Melnick. Oh, I wonder why the Senators' uh, fans are not coming. One, a lot of the government workers are not getting paid. And two, the Senators are not scoring. And three, the Senators are not winning. And four, the Senators aren't playing consistently. I'm sick and tired of the past 11 games. We haven't scored more than two goals. It's absolutely ridiculous. We either get robbed by the goalies or don't shoot or pass the puck. You need to learn how to shoot the puck. You need to learn how to score on the power play. This team, this team's gonna go nowhere if you don't learn how to do this stuff. I, I honestly can't believe I was able to watch that horse, horse crap the whole night. The whole night I watched that. On my Saturday night, I could've been out with friends. I decided to watch my team, the Ottawa Sanders, play like a bunch of timid hockey players w that can't score. They got the opportunities and they can't score. I know Luongo's a good goalie, hear that. But some of those saves, um, were spectacular. But what other team in the National Hockey League is getting those saves? No one! Every other team in the National Hockey League is scoring! Except the Senators! Except the Ottawa Senators! The Senators are not scoring! And I know Bobby Ryan and, um, Bobby Ryan and Mike Hoffman were not in the game, but that doesn't matter. You still have Kyle Turris. Derek Broussard should be scoring. What is this? The Senators need to be able to score at least more than two goals, because you can't rely on Craig Anderson, who is human, he's gonna allow four goals once in a while, to stop every shot, so you win one nothing, or two to one, or two nothing. That's not hockey. That's not a team effort. That's a goalie effort, and it's not right whatsoever. The Senators need to fix something right away. They need Clark MacArthur back very soon, or this team is going down the drain. I don't know how they've won 10 games already. Absolutely ridiculous, and I can't deal with this BS. Honestly, it's ridiculous. You, um, they're on a 3-0, and and they miss the net. Or they're on a 2-0, and and they can't even get a shot off. This has happened numerous times in the past few games. Absolutely ridiculous, and I honestly am surprised the Senators have been able to win 10 games, and are still in a playoff position miraculously. Somehow they are. And to finish things off on, uh, Lazar turnover, it goes off Lazar, off Anderson, barely into the net and in. McKenzie, the captain, 4-1 the final. He scores for the Panthers. Uh, the shots after the first period were in favor of the center, 15-8. After the second, 12-8. And after the third, 13-7. For a final tally of 40 shots for the Sanders and only one goal. And the Panthers only had 23 shots and 4 goals. If the Panthers could score on 4 
23 shots on 4 goals. Why can't the Senators score more than 4 on 40 shots? Absolutely ridiculous. And I'm sorry for anyone listening with headphones right now. I, uh... I, I advise you to take your headphones out. But honestly, absolutely ridiculous. I'm done and sick and tired of watching this team not even get more than two goals. It's been 11 games. The last time they scored three goals was Vancouver in Game 5. It's Game 17 now. I just had Robin Leonard eyes. I'm so pissed off. I'm so exhausted with watching a team for two and a half hours, paying my parents' bank tickets so I could go watch games which is expensive, to see them not even win, to see not even good hockey, and to see myself get frustrated, and to see them not score. You go to games to see them score, and they're not scoring. Absolutely horrible. Horrible. And the tennis is just going to get worse if they don't start scoring. They need to start scoring, and they need to start winning. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm praying to God that Bobby Ryan and Mike Coffin will be back and hopefully we can score more than two goals a game after that. But right now, it's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. The team stats, 24 uh, face-off wins for the Florida Panthers for 40.7%. Senators had 59.3% of the face-off wins for 35. Power play Senators were 0 for 2. Had some good chances. But of course, hey, why not shoot when you get to have a passing drill, right? They, they like to pass it. Uh... The Florida Panthers didn't have a power play, which is I haven't seen in a while. The Senators didn't take a penalty. Hits were 27-24 Senators. Shots 40-23 Senators. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is the Senators had advantage in every single stack category except goals in this game. And the game details, the Senators had like 14,134 Sens fans in attendance. And there's maybe 8,000 when the final horn was uh, drawn. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm sick and tired of watching the Senators lose like this. They deserve to be winning. I'm sick and tired of it. You need to, the Sanders need to learn how to finish and score and put the puck in the back of the net. A couple of uh, quick whistles cost the Sanders at least two goals. One of them even went in and they blew the whistle before. Uh, throwback to two years ago in the playoffs against the Canadians to jean gabriel Pajot. Sanders fans are used to quick whistles because we're cursed. We're absolutely cursed and I'm sick and tired. Hashtag sense curse. Honestly, tweet it. That's her, that's the sense uh, hashtag for me until we can score more than two goals. Absolutely pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And you know who we're playing on Tuesday? That was um, Le Montreal Canadiens. Carey Price, great. We'll be lucky if we even score a goal, honestly. Ugh. Oh my god. Follow us on Twitter at Sensetalk underscore for live tweet updates of the games and breaking news. Like this video, share this video for share cool stuff. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Uh, like us Facebook at Sense Talk. Add us to your circles at Google Plus at Sense Talk. Follow on Instagram Sense Talk Central for Sense breaking news and cool stuff there. A really cool Instagram page. Uh, check out our uh, website SenseTalkCentral.com. Please check it out. We it's, I work hard on it. And uh, I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. I know you are the viewer. It's definitely frustrated. Comment below your opinion on how the Senators can improve and what's frustrating you. Just rant, and I'll comment below as fast as I can in the comments below. So click right here for the latest Sense Talk YouTube video if you would like. And please, please click right here to subscribe to us. Thank you all for watching. Horrible game. Sanders just can't finish. I'm so tired, but I'll see you in the next video. Sense lose 4-1. Go, Sense, go.